Welcome to my Brain and Body Fitness class. My name is Gail and the workout today that we'll be doing is we're going to be using a small ball to strengthen all the muscles we do use in everyday activities. We're going to be strengthening your upper arms, your legs, and um, that we use every day in such things as gardening, getting in and out of the bed, getting in and out of a chair, and um, lifting things up from the cupboard, and many, many things. So the re reason we're using the ball is we're going to use that as resistance. And I know a lot of you probably don't have a ball, especially this size, and that's a bit squishy. But if you could come up with something like we have this small hand towel, and if you could just roll it up and put a little elastic band around it, you could use that as resistance. Or I don't know if you could get some socks. And I don't know if this is the, really the best thing because I don't think it's got a lot of resistance. But the other thing I want to show you too, it's an exercise called isometric. That's when you're using your own muscles. And that's when, instead of using the ball pushing like that, you're just going to be using your muscle groups like this. I'll show you all about it, but before we start those exercises, let's warm up all the um, muscles in our body. So we're going to get started. So first of all, sit nice and tall. Have your feet about hip width apart. Pull everything up. And let's get started. Okay. We're going to put on a little music here. Here we go. Okay. Let's start by marching. Pumping those knees. You can um, put your arms in now if you want. And we're going to do four more sets. Here's four and three, two, one. And tap and gently to the side. Nice gentle tap. Good work. We've got four more. Three sets. Last two. Last one. Now we're bringing in our arms. Just opening and closing. We're working our rotator cuffs. Four more. And three. Last two. Last one. Now we're tapping underneath the chair like this, sitting tall. If you can, push the belly in when you go back with your foot. Now pushing those arms. Just a gentle push. Can we do four more sets? It's four. And three. Last two. Last one. Marching it out a little bit higher now. Getting that heart rate up just a bit. All those muscles nice and warm. We're going to start by field digs. In four, three, two, one. And it's a dig to the front with your heel like that. If, that, if you don't like that, just that's better. How about a bicep curl coming in there? You got it. Four more. Three. Last two, and last one, and march it out. Now we're going to do some taps to the front in four, three, two, one. So it's like this, just a toe tap, and we're going to do crisscross arms. Look, this is what crisscross arms look like. Kind of fun. It's four, three, last two, last one. And go back to that march. Can you go a bit higher now? Now we're going to do some shoulder workouts in four, three, two, one. Now just roll those shoulders forward. Be sure you're breathing out. Don't hold your breath. Okay. We do four more. And three. Last two. Last one. And let's roll those arms back. Okay, our next move, we're just going to put our arms straight up, make a soft fist, and we're doing um, some exercises called uh, bodybuilding. So it's going to be like this, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One more time, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
speeding it up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And march it out. Can you go a little bit higher now? We're going to go across the midline with your arm in four and three, two, and one. And it's like this. So you're just working both sides of your brain in this move, which is great. You're going across, tapping, and it's four and three. Last two, last one. Now you're just going to kick out uh, like you're kicking a soccer ball. Just give it a little tap. Now the fun part here, if you can, bring in the opposite arm. If it didn't work, it doesn't matter. Same arm's okay. Let's do four more. And three. Last two. And last one. And our next move is we're just going to put our arms up like this. We're going to do like a stop and go. We're going to warm those wrists, wrists up. Spurry. You got it. Four more. Three. Last two. Last one. Taking those arms. Just folding your fingers down like this. Four more. Getting those joints nice and warm. Three. Last two. And just rub those hands together. And that's great. I think, do you feel warm now? I think we're ready to move on to our strengthening exercises. All right. So the first thing we're going to do is pick up the ball. And we're just going to put, wiggle out a little bit on the chair. Don't sit right at the back, but sit right in the middle if you can. Now, this is called our core. And push your belly in. Every time we push our belly in, we're going to breathe out. So I'm going to take the ball, put it here, or if you want, you can just use your hands like this. This is the isometric part. So we're going to put our hands on the ball, sitting nice and tall. We're going to push your belly in like it's going right through your spine. But it's, this um, exercise is actually working your ab muscles. So let's push down for four. One, two, breathe out, four, and up for four. Same thing with your hands if you want. Push down, push that belly in. Four, and up, two, three, four, two more. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. One more on this side. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Let's try the other side. Or again, you can use your arms and hands like that. Now, when you push down, be sure to push that belly in and breathe out. Here we go. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Three more. One, two, three, four. We're up, two, three, four. Two more sets. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Four last set. Are you breathing out? Two, three, four, and up. Two, three, four. Excellent work. The next thing we're doing is working our chest muscles. And you, if you want, if you don't have a ball, you just have to press your palms together. But the, you must breathe out. We don't want to hold your breath. So I'm going to do it with the ball. So we're just putting our hands like this. When you push in, breathe out. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, and breathe in. Two, three, four. Press. One, two, three, four, and out. We're working those. Um, they're called pecs or pectorials. And push in and out. Let's do three more. One, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. Push. One, two, three, four. And out. And I think, are we doing two more or one more? We'll do two more. One, two, three, four, and out. I think it was only one, but let's do one more. One, two, three, four, and out. Excellent work. 
The next thing, we're going to the lower part of our body now. We're just going to put the ball between your legs like this. Or if you're using the um, towel, you can just put it like that. It's got not a lot of resistance, but it does have a bit. So we'll use that if you have to. So we're going to put the ball here. Put our hands, if you want, on the outer side of your thighs. Or you can just push in with your inner thigh. And it's like this. Push in. One, two, three, four. Out, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four. Breathe in, two, three, four. Push, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. And one more time. One, two, three, four. And out, two, three, four. Now that we've used our, our worked our inner thighs, we must work our outer thighs because we don't want our muscle groups to be unbalanced. So we're just going to put our arm here. Again, you can use your own hand for resistance or even just come across like that. And you've got more resistance. Putting the ball there, we're going to push out with your outer thigh, in with the ball. And if you can remember, put your belly in. And we're giving, I'm giving you a lot of rules here, but the most important thing is to breathe out when you're pushing. So it's like this. One, two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four. So you're pushing out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four. Last one. One, two, three, four, and in, two, three, four. Let's try it on the other side now. Sitting tall. If you can remember when we're pushing in, if you could push your belly in, but the most important thing is to breathe out. So here we go. So it's one, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, push, one, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, last one, one, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four, excellent work. Now we're going back to our upper body. So this area in here is the area we would like to have nice and strong. When we're carrying groceries, when we're um, taking things off the shelf, we need to have these muscles quite strong so we're able to do that sort of thing. So this is called a bicep curl. This is your biceps right here. So we're going, if you don't have a ball or anything to hold on to, just make a, um, don't make two, um, a fist that tight. Make it half tight, not too loose out there. So, but I'm going to hold the ball. So we're going to be squeezing the ball when we're going up. So keep your elbow tucked in and we're going up for four and down for four. On the way up is where we breathe out. So tuck your um, belly, or yeah, and tuck your belly in also. <laughs> All right, a lot of rules going on here. So it's one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Breathe out, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four, and one more. One, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Let's go to the other side. The same thing. Tuck your elbow in, and we're squeezing the ball. Again, if you don't have a ball, just make a fist. And as long as you're breathing out on the way up, that's the most important thing. Here we go. One, two, three, four, we're down, two, three, four. We're up, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Tuck your belly in if you can remember. And down, two, three, four. Let's just do one more. One, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. After you do these moves for a while, you can start adding on, like instead of doing four, you can do eight, but the, the most important thing is to get the right form. 
So the next one is our tricep. So this is the tricep under here. So if we're strengthening the bicep, we want to strengthen the tricep. If you can, just put your arm out to the front like this. Put your arm here. Now, we're going to be putting our arm up over our head. And I know some of you, it's really, really difficult to do. So I'm just going to show you this exercise. It's still working some of your tricep and bicep, but not as much as if we just did a single tricep. So if you can, use your arm to bring your hand up like this. We're going to go down with your arm like this. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. It's down, two, three, four, and up, two. Now it's the up move you'll be breathing out on. So here's where we breathe out. One, two, three, four, down, two, three, four, or even come down here if you have to. Three, four, and down, two. I'm going back up, and it's one, two, three, four. Let's go down, two. Can we do one more? This is quite a tricky move. Three, four, and down. Excellent. But don't forget, you can just stay there if you need to, or just bring the arm down. So we're going to do it on the other side. Now we're just going to use your tricep. So there again, if you can put your arm out to the front, and don't forget to squeeze the ball. That's what we've got it there for, for resistance. So this is the move you can do if you want. Just go out and back. You're also working your elbow, right? Let's do two more. And last one. Now, if you can, take your arm up like this. Put the arm close to the air. Go down for four. One, two, three, four. Breathe out here. One, two, three, four. Go down. Two, three, four. Breathe out. Two, three, four. We're only going to do two more. One, two, three. Four, breathe out, two, three, four, it's down, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. Oh, we did it. Excellent work. Just shake those arms out. You did great. Okay, now we're going to go back to our legs and we're going to work on um, our hamstrings. So we're just going to put the ball on the floor. If you don't have a ball, just push down a bit like this. Use your foot as resistance. So we're going to put the foot down like that. We're going to put the ball in the arch of our foot. Sitting up nice and tall, we're just going to push down with this part of the foot, the ball of the foot, and we're pushing down like this. One, two, three, four, and up, two. Do you remember where we should breathe out? On the way down. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four. This time I'm going to use my hands for more resistance. One, two, three, four, and up, two, three, four, three, out, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Let's try that other leg. Good work. Same thing. If you don't have the ball or anything to put there, just push down like that. So we're putting the ball under the arch of our foot, putting our hands here. Now, again, sit nice and tall. And if you can remember, push that belly button in while we're pushing down. So it's down, two, three, four, and up, two. Where do we breathe out? One, two, three, four, and up, two. Three on the way down. One, two, three, four. We're up. Two, three, four. And one more. One, two, three, four. And up. Excellent work. When you go to pick up the ball, try not to bend over too far like that. Just see if you can bend over a little bit. And then you've got it. Now we're going to work the forearm. This part of your arm right here. And again, we need this part, for, if we've got this strong and this strong, 
we need this part strong too. So what we're going to do is hold your ball out like this. We're going to squeeze the ball. Just make sure to hold it like that. Squeeze it. Now rotate the arm so it's facing down. So it's one, two, three, four. Release the squeeze. And then squeeze again and come up. One, two, three, four. Release the squeeze. One, two, three, four. Release. And squeeze again. And one, two, three, four. Release. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. Release. And come up. One, two, three, four. One more time only. One, two, three, four. And come up. Two, three, four. That was working your forearm. So again, if it's too hard for you to hold it out, just bring it in here. It'll work the same. But if you can, bring it out like that. So we're going to squeeze and then rotate that arm down. One, two, three, four. Go up. Two, three, four. Rotate. One, two, three, four. And let the squeeze go and then squeeze again. One, two, three, four. Relax. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. Relax. Squeeze. One, two, three, four. And relax. I think we got one more. One, two, three, four. And up. Two, three, four. Perfect work. The next thing we're going to work is that wrist because we want a strong wrist. So again, if you can, keep your arm out here. If it's too hard, just hold it in here. Now what we're going to do is just flex this part of your wrist. We're going to squeeze, and it's like this. We're just working the wrist only, and it's one, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. So when you're squeezing, that's when you're breathing out. Three, four, and down, two, three, four. It's one, two, three, four, down. Two, three, four, one more. One, two, three, four, and down. Two, three, four. Nice. And let's do that on the other side. So you've got your arm out, or if it's just tiring out here, come on in. Hold the ball like that. You just remember you're working that part of your wrist. So we're rolling, or just flexing it up. One, two, three, four, and down. Two. Three, four, or out here if you can. One, two, three, four, out, two, three, four, two more. One, two, three, four, and down, two, and then really squeezing at this time. One, if you can. One, two, three, four, and down, two, three, four. Nice work. We're going to do one more for our upper body, and that's just we're going to put our arm like this. Now, sometimes this is difficult to do without holding on to the ball, but if you can, give it a try. And you're just squeezing your arm in like that and out. So it's one, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and in. Two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. If you don't have a ball, just squeeze in and out like this. Three, four, and out. Two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and out. Two, three, four. And you were using a muscle group called your deltoid and some of your chest. And again, we're going to try it on this side. So remember, if you don't have a ball, just pull your arm in. One, two, three. Four, and out, two, three, four. Let's try it with the ball now. So we're squeezing that ball, and it's one, two, three, four. Go out, two, three, four. Breathing out while you're squeezing. One, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Two more. One, two, three, four, and out, two, Three, four, hold in one is great if you need to. One, two, three, four, and out, two, three, four. Now, 
done, now we're just going to put the ball on the floor. For some of you, again, if you don't have a ball, you can just lift your leg up like this and just go out like that and back. So I'm going to put my foot, in the, the ball under the arch of my foot, sitting nice and tall. I'm going to roll the ball out and back. That's going to strengthen the muscles around the knee. So sitting nice and tall, we're going to roll out and roll back. So it's just the motion going back and forth. So without the ball, you can just do it with your hands underneath your knee. That's good. I think we'll do four more of these. Here we go. Four. And three. And two. And one. Nice. So that worked. This part, your shin muscle. And now we're going to work the hamstring. I've got to be sure I've got room to roll under the chair with this. So now we're just pushing the ball under the chair. And if you've got your hands here, you can feel these muscles working. They're called the hamstring. So you're just rolling, same thing. If you don't have a ball, just hold your leg up. We could do two more, or four more sets. Four. And three. And two. And one. And we're just going to scoot the ball over. Try the same thing with this side. So sitting nice and tall, shoulders down, and just trying to roll out and back. Now if you don't have a ball, you can just do this. And I better get that ball back. <laughs> there we go, sorry. So it's out and back, out and back. Strengthening your knee, breathing out when you push out, breathing in when you come back. So it's out and back. Four more. More. Last two. And this will be our last one. Now we're going to push that ball under the chair. Again, I better get it over a bit so it'll work. Putting your hands here, you're just leaning under the chair with your heel. So it's out and back, just rolling the ball. So you should feel these muscles working in here. Let's do four more. Four and three. Last two, and last one. Okay, you did fabulous work. And now we're going to do some stretching. So I'm going to wiggle that ball out. If you don't have a ball, just put your foot on the floor. So what we're going to do is sit up tall. I'm going to push it out just a bit more. Putting your foot up like that. We're going to stretch these hamstrings that we just used. So what you're going to do is pull those toes in towards you. From the hips, just lean a tiny, oh, tiny bit into that stretch. I can feel it right here. And we're just going to hold that for a little minute. I don't know if a little minute is the same as a minute, but it seems smaller. <laughs> All right, good work. And then roll back, pushing your toes down to the ground. And now you're stretching this muscle. It's the shin, it's called the shin muscle. So just hold this for a little stretch. Good work. So now, what we're going to do is just put your hands under um, the hamstring area. And we're just going to lift your leg up as high as you can towards your chest. And that's going to stretch the area in here. Your butt area. So if you can't reach or lift it up very high, don't. Just go to about there. But hold that, and it's four, and three, and two, and one, and you've got it scooting the ball to the other side, rolling it out, and we're going to stretch. Now the same thing, sitting nice and tall, pull those toes in towards you, lean from your hip, and you should feel a nice stretch right in here. I can really feel this. And then roll back and just point those toes down. You should feel that stretch right here. That's your shin muscle. Taking your hands underneath your ha in the hamstring area and pulling your knee up to your chest. As high as you can. Sometimes you can't go high. Only go there, but if you can, go for it here. You should feel that stretch. 
And the last move we're going to do is just circle that ball, or not do all together, just do with our feet. <laughs> circle the ball and then scoot it over and then circle it with your foot and the other way. And now we are going to leave the ball on the ground and do some upper body stretches. So the first thing we're going to do is stretch out those biceps. So just take your arms, sit up tall, just take your arms out like this. Now try and turn those thumbs down like this. And you should feel that in your bicep area. And we're just going to hold that for just a couple of seconds. How about four, three, two, and one. Excellent work. The next thing we're doing is stretching this tricep, what we worked before. Again, if you can't reach up like this, just stay about here. But if you can, put your arms straight up in the air, holding on to here, and just tap yourself on the back. Try and walk those fingers down your back a little bit. It's a very, a little bit of a tricky move. You should feel the stretch right there, but don't go as high if you can't. And now same on the other side. If you can just do that, that's okay. But if you can't, go up like this, right by your ear, tap yourself on the back, and an added thing is to walk those fingers down your back. And come back. Good work. This time we're just going to put both your arms out to the side like that. You're going to take your right arm, which is here, and bring it across your chest, just like this. Taking this other hand just to hold it up. We're stretching in here. Keep your shoulder down, and that's your deltoid area. So we're just stretching in there. Just holding it for a little while. Getting a nice stretch. Excellent. And put that arm down. The other arm goes out, comes right across your chest. And this arm's hand's just going to hold up your arm. And since we're on this side, we're going to stretch your wrist out. Now just put your hand down here, not up here. Keep it low. Tuck your thumb in. And just pull those fingers towards you. If you have arthritis or a wrist problem, don't pull very hard. But that's stretching right here. We worked our wrists, so we want to stretch them out. Now push down, and you should feel that in there. Good work. On the other side. And don't push it too hard if it hurts. But that's giving that wrist a nice stretch right there. And then we're pushing it down, and you should feel it there. Take those fingers. We're starting with your right hand. And this is the okay sign, like everything's okay. And let's do it. And we're going to stretch the fingers out. We're bringing each finger down to the thumb. And it's one, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. And everything's okay. We're tapping one, two, three, four, and back. One, two, three, four. You did fabulous work as usual. We're going to rub those hands together, put some nice lotion on, and thanks for coming, and we'll see you next time.